Would you like to learn how to make sweet potato dog treats? Today on Garden Fork, I'm going to show you the secrets to this, a couple of new things I learned. Ready? Here we go. Make, fix, grow, cook. Garden Fork. Pretty cool, huh? We have a, a previous video where I made some uh, sweet potato dog treats with an evaporator, not an evaporator, a dehydrator like this. And then I was making them the other day and I was like, is there some improvements I could make? So I wanted to walk you through today kind of uh, the 2.0 version of sweet potato chips because I learned a couple things along the way and I want to share them with you. And you know who the two really love these things and they're expensive in the store um oh, it smells really good though um so anyway i want to eat these but let me show you um let's just get started all right your main ingredient here is incredibly inexpensive um i found that the slightly if you, if you want to buy them the big fat round ones are more harder to cut more harder that's a word isn't it um look for something like this like torpedo kind of sweet potato rather than pear-shaped sweet potatoes all right so this is how simple this is mandolin sweet potato i guess it wouldn't help if this thing is sliding all over but again watch your fingers okay Okay. Yay, sweet potato dog treats. All right, pretty good. Uh, I got some bigger ones and then some kind of regular size ones. I mean, the pups, they really kind of don't care. They just like them, you know? But I don't know, this is kind of neat. And then this works as well. Let me show you step two, which is prepping them for the drying. And I finally figured out how to make them like the ones you buy in the store. Ready? By the way, we frosted these uh, cabinets, made a video about that if you're interested. The secret here is vegetable oil spray. Put out a towel, and then a grate, and then all your chips, or all the chips that'll fit on a cooling rack. And the cooling rack uh, is part of the process. And then we've got our vegetable oil spray. And you just want a light, a light um, film on each one. And then we flip them over. This is uh, a little tedious, but uh, it saves a lot of money at the store, I'll tell you that. This goes pretty fast. Besides that, just think of your goofy dogs who are gonna love these things. And who will love you then? that's what it's all about, right? And then another light coating. There you go. It's best if you have, uh-oh. Um, it's best if you have multiple uh, cooling racks or baking racks or whatever these things, these wire racks. Um, I only have one and then I've got a ton of chips to do. So think about, or maybe you borrow from your neighbor there goes some more rolling on the floor. Um, some racks to make this stuff, okay? Now let's go to step three. So in my original sweet potato dog treat video, I used a really inexpensive dehydrator. I got this at a yard sale, actually. I'll link below to the model, uh, the current model that I think works well. And yeah, this totally works, but what if you don't have one of these? What if you don't wanna buy one of these? And I was thinking about that, and then I have kind of a, a newer oven, and I thought, could I make my newer oven into a dehydrator? I don't know, what do you think? So I found I could get my oven down to, it'll go down to 170, like that. So I got this. And I put this in the upper part of the oven 
like that, and like that. So depending on your oven, if you could get it on the 150, you'd be even better. If you have a convection oven with the fan, it's even better. Better and even better, I guess is what I'm trying to tell you. Anyway, I'm gonna let this go for about three hours. In the meantime, we're gonna watch the Labradors, okay? very patient. I don't know if you know this, but Garden Fork is an eclectic DIY maker, how-to, home improvement, gardening, beekeeping show. Not just dog treats. If you want to check out some more, there'll be links at the end of the video and down in the show notes here. We also have a uh, audio podcast. If you really want to listen to Eric while you're on your drive to work or something, you could check that as well. I'll link that below. All right? Okay, that's going to be a little warm. So let these, oh yeah, we're gonna see them. Let them cool off first, okay? We just let them cool off. That was pretty gentle, wasn't it? Right here should be some more videos related to this, uh, some of our dog treat videos. And if you guys have some suggestions, I always learn from you, okay? So in the comments, I would love to hear from you. Um, I'll link to all the tools we used, the mandolin, the dehydrator, some of these have a little bit of uh, black marks on them. I don't think that's a bad thing. That's just the, um, I think they're actually starting to cook a little bit in the oven. So the lower, low and slow, kind of like barbecue. You want another little girl? Come here, come, you gotta be in the frame. You gotta be in the camera frame. Come. That was pretty good. All right, make it a great day. I'll see you later.